Welcome. This video will give you information about receiving medical services by telehealth. Telehealth is the delivery of medical care through video conferencing with the healthcare provider in a different location from the patient. You may be familiar with video conferencing with your family or friends through apps like FaceTime or Skype. The video conferencing applications used for telehealth are secure and the same privacy laws apply to telehealth as to in-person medical services. Sometimes, less secure apps are allowed to be used for telehealth during emergency crises, such as with COVID-19. Sometimes, people receive telehealth services by going into an office or clinic near them and connect to a healthcare provider further away. In this case, there is usually someone at that office who will help orient you and explain how the visit will happen. In this video, we will focus on how telehealth works when you are in your own home. Telehealth helps families connect with medical services for many reasons. Some reasons to use telehealth are, you live far away from healthcare providers, you have difficulty traveling to healthcare providers, you are responsible for child or elder care and can't get to appointments, you are too sick to go see a healthcare provider, you need to practice social distancing during the COVID-19 crisis. Types of services provided through telehealth. Telehealth can be used for many different types of healthcare, primary care, urgent care, prenatal care, counseling, diabetes management, home health care, and many other services. Telehealth can also be used for specialties like neurology, cardiology, and genetics. During this COVID-19 crisis, telehealth can be used to screen patients to see if testing or more medical services are needed. The type of medical services you might be able to receive depends on factors such as, are you receiving telehealth from home or from a nearby clinic? Are the healthcare providers you need to see available by telehealth? Does your medical insurance cover visits by telehealth? Ways to receive telehealth. Receiving care through telehealth can be done in two ways. One, similar to an in-person appointment where it is scheduled with a healthcare provider for a specific date and time. Or two, as an on-demand service where you're connected to a healthcare provider who's available at the time you log into the online telehealth system. For a scheduled visit, your healthcare provider will give you instructions in advance about how to log in to their telehealth system. For an on-demand visit, you usually get connected to a healthcare provider through a website, which might be through your medical insurance plan, hospital, state health agency, or a private company. Is telehealth covered by health insurance? Insurance coverage for telehealth varies from state to state, but coverage is expanding across the country. For situations like COVID-19, Health insurers are covering telehealth services to help patients avoid going to clinics and provider offices. You can always call your insurance provider to check about coverage for telehealth services. Most of the time, telehealth does not cost more than a face-to-face -face visit. If there is an additional charge for telehealth, think about whether you would have any extra expenses if you went to the visit in person. This could include travel expenses, lost wages, and childcare costs. What to do to prepare for a telehealth visit. If you need an interpreter for your visit, your healthcare provider needs to know at least a few days before your appointment. You should let your healthcare provider's office know when you book the appointment or when you're being referred to another provider. You may also have someone help you call the office to make sure they know you need an interpreter. To help your healthcare provider, you should try to have information ready about allergies, medications, hospitalizations, surgeries, and other test results. In some cases, you may need to submit this information online or by mail before the appointment, or request that your records be sent to the doctor's office. For on-demand visits, you may be asked to answer questions about your health online before you start your telehealth session. Just as with an in-person appointment, it's a good idea to write down any questions you have ahead of time. You may also want to take notes during the appointment or have a trusted family member or friend help you take notes. Preparing your space. If you are having your telehealth visit at your home, make sure you have your computer, tablet, or mobile device positioned so that your face is centered and you can make good eye contact with the camera. You may have to use books or other items to adjust your device to eye level. If you are using a tablet or mobile device, you may want to put it on a stand to keep it steady. Check that your internet or cellular connection is working before the visit. 
Make sure your device is not on mute and that the volume on your device speakers is to a level that you can hear easily. It's best to be in a quiet, private place for your telehealth visit. Try to make sure any children, pets, cell phones, or other disruptions are not going to interfere with your telehealth session. Also, please do not eat or drink during the session. For safety and privacy, please do not do a telehealth session while you are driving, shopping, or doing anything else where you're not able to concentrate on your conversation with the healthcare provider. During the session, after you connect to your telehealth provider, have a conversation as you would during an in-person session. The provider should first ask you if you consent to receiving services by telehealth. Please be sure to also let them know if you have any difficulty hearing or seeing them at any time in the session. If there are any technical problems, they may be able to continue the session by phone. At the end of the session, the healthcare provider will let you know what their recommendations are and usually provide further information for you by email or mail. If any testing is recommended, the provider will arrange for testing at a nearby laboratory or clinic, or sometimes even from your home, and give you specific instructions about this process. They will also usually give you contact information in case you have a question or follow-up concerns after the session. Telehealth is a convenient and safe option to receive medical services that can benefit many individuals and families. For more information, you can go to the National Consortium of Telehealth Resource Centers at telehealthresourcecenter.org and find the center that covers your state. This video was created by staff of the Hawaii Department of Health and Western States Regional Genetics Network in collaboration with the Pacific Basin Telehealth Resource Center, funded by the Health Resources and Services Administration.